Hi everyone, I'm Susan Winter. Welcome to my channel, best-selling author, relationship expert. I'm here reading your video requests, answering your questions on dating and relationships. And today we're talking about, you know that time when they say to you, you deserve better? Yeah. Here's exactly what's happening when somebody says that. I love decoding these dating games and finding the real message within the message. So firstly, thank you, Ray, because Ray wrote in this question. Uh, Ray writes, after battling for four months of no contact after the breakup, I contacted her, told her how I feel, and that she's the best woman I've ever known in my life, and that I'm here for her and will never forget her. She said, she's not into relationships right now, she regrets how she treated me, and that I'm a wonderful person and deserves better. I don't understand. We loved each other and were perfect? Question mark. Those of you who work with me, you've already got your answers for Ray. Let's see if we're on the same page here. This is beautiful. When we love, love can be blind indeed. Ray, um, okay, I'm on your side, but I gotta say like it is. Uh, your version of what you felt in this relationship came from your ability to feel love and to merge with her. She was not in the same place. So you've got two people playing the same uh, game with each other with totally different ideas as to what the storyline is. She's involved with you and this was how long, well, I don't know. You, I don't know how long you were together. You didn't say, but uh, after four months, you still think that she's the ideal because in your mind, you treated her as such. In your mind, you took this relationship very seriously. You made her your one and only. And Ray, so that you stop hurting, I've got to remind you, I've never, she's the best woman I've ever known in my life. Ray, honestly, she admits point blank, uh, she regrets how she treated you. <laughs> We have to pay attention to this, guys. We don't want to, but we have to. It's for our own benefit. Sometimes we can love so blindly that we love the person who is being cruel to us. We make excuses for the person who's not showing up. Oh, they are busy. They have some kind of problems. Oh, they can't express themselves emotionally. Oh, they're a little impatient, but it's not their fault. They had a hard life. They're so stressed, blah, 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 blah. Um, when somebody tells you, you deserve better, believe them, they know it. They know it because they are very clear on the fact that they did not treat you well. Oh, they know it, know it, know it. And finally, they cut the cord or you cut the cord to save yourself. But they were done a long time earlier and, you know, they didn't even try to be polite. At some point, even they are aware of the fact that their behavior is bad. So when they say you deserve better, clearly understand that as being, I know I cannot give you what you want. Sorry, kind of tried, but I didn't, as you can clearly see. I feel badly that I didn't, but I'm not up to the task. I'm not capable or I'm not interested to try. Doesn't matter which one of those it is. It all boils down to the same thing. You do deserve better they can't or won't give it to you. You must walk. There is no other scenario. So you cannot honestly put them on a pedestal as being the greatest person in the world, the greatest love. I'll never love anybody like you. You were the best person ever. I long for you. And worse yet, I'm waiting for you because they're not coming back. They were barely making an effort when they were there. This is not to attack anybody who's listening. Sometimes I got to say it like it is, and I've got to say it straight to just alleviate the pain of waiting. We don't wait for maybe possible, horrible, more attention from somebody that can't love us. This is nothing you wait around for. It's not going to get better. Some people wait in hope thinking it will get better. It doesn't. What you saw is what they have to give. As little as you got from them, that's it. And that was a one-time offer and it's probably not ever happening again. The best thing you can do is walk, take them off the pedestal. 
see it for what it is believe them they're telling you the truth you do deserve more you deserve a lot better than them and they know it so oftentimes people when they tell us the truth we don't want to hear it but they're telling you the truth Ray I'm on your site if you want to work with me go to susanwinter.net connect with me on one of my coaching packages I just I feel badly for you I do understand for you you say we loved each other and we were perfect no my darling you made her perfect you were fully involved and that's why she seemed perfect to you but she wasn't see that's what love does to us it's not a bad thing it's just skewed and at some point we have to take off the goggles and with the rose-colored glasses and kind of see it for what it is so thank you everyone if you want to work with me again susanwinter.net if you're on clubhouse follow me listen to the rooms that i have join me on social media dm me on instagram say hi um what else oh you can hear this on the susan winter show on spotify or iHeartRadio. thanks everyone